So just lately, I've been starting to notice the benefit of single purpose tools. And by that, I mean a tool that can focus on one thing really, really well. And UPDF is one of them. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at a piece of software that lets you do all sorts with files, specifically the most popular file extension on the internet, PDFs. And you might be sat there thinking, hang on, are you going to spend an entire video talking entirely about PDFs? Well, yes, you bet I am. And I bet you'll learn at least one cool thing you didn't know you could do with a proper PDF manager like this one. Deal? Let's get into it. I'm going to go through 14 things you can do with PDFs, starting with the basics, going up to more complex stuff. So first of all, yes, I can confirm you can use this to view, read and search PDFs. Oh, and if you ever run PDFs as slideshows for presentations, it'll work for those too. And if you're used to using PowerPoint, why not use a PDF instead? It makes it really easy to share them afterwards. You can also edit any of these PDFs. So this might involve getting in and editing text, images, adding links, backgrounds, watermarks, you name it. Often PDFs are seen as these static files, but with a piece of dedicated software like UPDF, you can do all sorts. You can also add annotations. So I'm in the process of reading this book for a review that I'm writing at the moment, and it was shared with me in PDF format. And I can do all sorts here that would mirror how I read physical books, highlighting sections, adding comments, stamps, stickers, notes. It's pretty impressive. And I'm used to reading these physical books and then covering them in notes and markups. So this software makes it just as easy to do the same with eBooks. Now, I don't know about you, but I sometimes end up with PDF copies of files that weren't the original. So things like scans, photos, things like that. One of the cool things you can do here is use UPDF as an optical character recognition tool in order to scan the text in these types of files and then make them readable or searchable again. Next, let's talk about security. So if you want to encrypt a PDF, you're all set here. You just head to the file menu, protect using password, and then set it to how you like. You can even get into choose your level of encryption all the way up to 256 bit. And when it comes to signing documents, this is really straightforward. You just pop your signature where it needs to go. Next up, you can share PDFs easily. So you can share via email or even generate a download link for super large files. This is really handy if you're in design work and your PDFs tend to be on the massive side. How about arranging and organizing? There's a whole section for this. So if you need to reorder pages, delete pages, insert new pages, split pages, rotate or even replace pages, you can do whatever you like to get your file how you want it to look. Next up, PDFs can be set to include fillable form fields. This is great for things like sending out surveys, getting customers to fill in invoicing data, that sort of thing. So if you get sent one of these, you can easily get this all filled in using something like UPDF. Next up, file sizes in PDFs can get out of hand. Now you can use UPDF to reduce the file size of any file by going into the file menu, saving as other, and then reducing the file size. This is gonna give you an option in terms of the compression as well, so you can decide what the end file size is gonna be. Next up, merging PDF. So I've been using this a lot in my work to build handouts that team can use as workbooks. So if you've got a bunch of individual PDFs that you want to use to save into one file, all you need to do is go to the batch combine option and then add in whichever PDFs you want. So if anyone's sat watching this and thinking, hang on a minute, I work on a Mac and all Macs come bundled with Preview, which is this mega powerful app that lets you do all sorts well yeah that is true preview is a really good generalist app but it doesn't do everything when it comes to pdfs and the things it does do aren't quite as easy as the way updf works and updf is device agnostic so one of the most important things i wanted to stress here is that if you say work on a mac and you've got a pc at home and maybe you've got a linux device for fun at weekends hey you know whatever floats your boat this software will work across all of them using their custom updf cloud service which gives you 10 gigabytes of data to use across your devices for things like storage and sharing So there we have it. How do we deal with my bet? If you discovered something new about PDFs, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in using this to help take control of the PDFs in your life, the pricing for UPDF is normally 
$49.99 a year, but you can also purchase a perpetual plan where you get lifetime access for a one-off cost of $99.99. Both of these plans include the 10 gigabytes per year allowance on their cloud service. But if you click on link below, you can get a 54% discount on a perpetual license to apply to Windows, Mac, iOS and Android with a password remover tool thrown in too. Or if you don't want to do that and do the annual subscription instead, you can get 40% off. Pretty cool, eh? And a big thanks to the UPDF team for making that possible and for sponsoring the channel this week. Folks, as always, if you found this helpful, please leave a like before you leave. And if you'd like to see more like this, maybe even a cheeky subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.